Welcome to the Peer Tutoring Program at Cochise College. We are glad you are here. We put together this Peer Tutor Training Guide to help you understand what we do, how we do it, and how you are an important part of it. First, let's talk about what we do at the Writing Center. About Academic Writing No matter what course students take, they must be able to write good academic papers that pose important questions and provide convincing evidence for the answers to those questions. Whether a student chooses to study physics, biology, social sciences, or any other subject, they will need to write an academic paper in accepted form that clearly communicates their ideas. We call this writing across a curriculum. Writing good academic papers is at the very core of what we do in college and is usually the basis for assessing our performance and grades. Why are peer tutors important? Researchers have discovered that peer tutors are very helpful when assisting other students work on their writing challenges. When you work with another student, it is likely that you have a personal understanding of what that student is going through. The students you tutor have probably faced many of the same challenges you have. As a student, you may have noticed that there are some teachers you feel more comfortable with than others. In these situations, you may find it easier to discuss schoolwork with other students or friends. This is why your role as a peer tutor can be beneficial for students who find it easier to connect with a peer than with their instructor. How do peer tutors do what they do? Following is an explanation of the process that our peer tutors use. Some students who come to the writing lab think that we will simply fix their papers. This is definitely not what we do. Instead, tutors help students identify where their papers need improvement and where their papers are accomplishing their purpose. After we've done that, our job is to help students develop the skills to improve their work in the future. Some students think the tutors will sit down at a computer, make corrections to students' work, and then send the student off to get a better grade. This is not what we do. How to be a great tutor 1. Make sure they sign in. 2. Be friendly. Greet your student and make them feel welcomed. We have many walk-in students in the Writing Center who have never used our services before. 3. Gather information from the student. What class are they in? Who is their instructor? What is the assignment? Do they have the assignment description or notes on what to do? What is the deadline? How much of the project have they completed? 4. Make a plan. Once you determine what the student needs, make a plan as to what you can accomplish with them during this tutoring session. You should avoid spending all afternoon with one student. There may be others waiting. 5. If the student has not completed any work, then find out what kind of help they needed from you. Remember, we don't write papers. Ask the student if he or she needs help coming up with ideas for a topic. You can brainstorm with them. 6. Offer to help them make an outline, but don't do it for them. 
7. Find out what the student has the most trouble with. Grammar, ideas, ESL, punctuation, etc. Let the student come up with their own ideas. Don't make too many suggestions about what they should write. 9. Help the student organize and clarify their ideas while being careful not to help so much that they start writing what you are saying. Instead, help the student to start an outline and then tell them to work on their own for a while. What to do and what not to do. Follow these guidelines while you are tutoring. Do. Ask questions to encourage students' original thinking. Read the student's paper out loud to them. This helps them to hear their mistakes. Stop when they hear a mistake and let them correct it on their paper or on the computer. Offer tips and advice on research and finding quality sources with applicable information for their topic. Praise the good aspects of students' writing. Maintain a positive tone and attitude. Try to determine if some of the students' writing problems stem from ESL. We can provide a list of websites that can help. Check with a professional English tutor. Encourage the student to visit regularly throughout the writing process. Writing problems can't be fixed in one sitting or even in one semester. Show the student where our reference materials are in the bookshelves and how to log in to the library website. Ask one of the professional tutors for help if you are uncertain about something. Don't. Don't do the writing or the typing for the student. They should be the ones sitting at the computer. Don't just fix a grammar or punctuation mistake without showing and explaining it to them. Don't correct every mistake on a paper. It's okay to fix some errors in a student's paper as long as you point out areas that they need to work on. For example, a student may have a lot of run-on sentences. Correct a couple of them and then let them find others in the paper. Ask them to bring the paper back to you so that you can see if they have found other mistakes on their own. The following video illustrates how being too helpful can be a bad thing. Okay. So first thing is we really need a thesis sentence. So in one sentence, write the whole idea of your paper. Thesis. So thesis is just the idea of the paper. In one sentence, clear, simple. Like that. Um, yeah, try to rewrite it so it explains everything clearly. Okay. The dog likes to jump. You know what? Yeah, let's see this. Can you uh, do this? Totally. Yeah, it's okay. Teachers don't care whether who writes it. 
I'm gonna tweet this. What were the problems in this interaction? Instead of offering helpful suggestions or prompting the student to do their own writing, the tutor began writing for the student. The tutor was the one at the keyboard. Always make sure that the student is the one typing. Don't. Don't tell the student exactly what to write. Encourage them to fix sentences by asking them if they can think of another way to say it. Encourage the student to describe the story they want to tell. Often, a person tells it exactly how they should be writing it down. Don't insult the student's instructor. Even if you don't like an instructor, it is better to keep it to yourself. This is a job. You need to be respectful of the staff and faculty. The next video is an example of a tutor offering unwelcome and unprofessional opinions. Hi, um, I need some help with my English paper. Okay, go ahead and sit down. So what teacher do you have? Uh, Mr. Smith. Oh yeah, Mr. Smith? Yeah. I had him, I really didn't like him. Really? Yeah, he was so mean and really hard and he uh, he did not give me the grade I deserved for that class. Oh my gosh. Good well, luck. <laughs> wow, maybe I should like switch classes or something. Probably. So yeah, what is your Well, anyway, whatever. What's um, your paper about? So, okay, so I just got started on, you know, like an outline and, and mm -hmm. a couple of paragraphs and this is about uh, legalizing marijuana. You want to legalize marijuana? Um, well, yeah. I mean... So you're like pro-marijuana? Well, I don't... I mean, what's your problem with that? I mean, why, though? Um, well, I mean, I started an outline here to, like, give the I just good think reasons that for there's not any good reasons to legalize marijuana. So. Well, you know, um, I kind of have to go to class anyway, so, well, thanks, I appreciate no it. No problem. Okay. What were the problems in this interaction? The tutor was unprofessional and rude. The tutor insulted the student's instructor. Remember to be professional and keep negative comments about faculty or staff to yourself. Instead of helping the student with her chosen topic, the tutor allowed her personal opinions to ruin the tutoring session. Remember your job is to help the student, not to offer your opinions. Don't. Don't be overly critical of the student's writing. Even if you think it is bad, it doesn't help to put them down. They will improve if you are helpful. Don't overwhelm the student by giving too much advice or information in one sitting. Don't give the student advice if you feel that you are not sure about something yourself. Ask one of the professional tutors. The following scenario shows a student tutor being too critical. So what are we, what am I helping you with today? This part here. I'm not quite understanding it. Okay. I saw you before, right? A couple days ago? Yes. Alright. Okay, yeah, I remember this paper. Um, you should have changed this part. I've given you a suggestion to change it. You did? Yeah. And what it's did just, you say? Uh, I said that using it's a fragment sentence and it's not making sense with everything else. 
So uh, you need to find another idea to fix it. So what do I do? Well, you fix it. You find something that's more relevant. How? Well, this is your paper, so you should know what you're working with. But you're the tutor. Can you please just tell me what I'm supposed to write? I'm the tutor. I'm not going to do your paper for you. Well, just explain what I'm supposed to write right there. I'll write it. Just tell me what well, you write. Well, you just have to write what, you know, what's relevant to your, your paper. So right here, you're talking about dogs. So you're not going to talk about cats in this paper, or this part. Why can I write about both of them? Because your, your topic sentence is about dogs. What well, aren't you understanding about your paper? But dogs are kind of related to cats. How do you get dogs from cats? Really? They have four legs. But they're totally different anatomy. Look, I want to be a veterinarian, okay? So I think, trust me on this, there's no similarity between a dog and a cat. What were the problems in this interaction? The tutor was overly critical and rude. Instead of being helpful and encouraging, the tutor criticized and belittled the student. Always be patient and considerate while tutoring. The tutor didn't offer the student any constructive writing advice. Remember to praise the good aspects of students' writing, as well as pointing out areas that could use improvement. Be a professional. Here are a few additional things to note. The students need to trust that you are qualified and able to help them. Dress appropriately for the job. Don't come to work in sweatpants, torn shirts, jeans with holes, or wrinkled clothing. Pay attention to your environment at all times. Be aware of who enters the room. It may be a shy student who is new to the writing center. Say hello and ask them what they need. Make them feel welcomed. The next video is an example of how not to deal with distraction. So uh, I need uh, help with the um, uh, APA paper. Mm -hmm. It's for my psychology class. I'm doing it on the conformity of color. Oh, hang on. Um, this is this is due <laughs> this is due soon, so I really need. Wait, what'd you say? I said I'm doing an APA paper for psychology on the conformity of color. It's due pretty soon. Oh my god, I've got to write my rent. Hang on, hang on. I'm writing an APA paper for my psychology class on the conformity of color. You I don't I'm having a little bit of trouble of how how the you know the you make it very distracting to try to tell you what I need help with. Wait, what'd you say? I'm right. Okay, all right, yeah, and then there should be cats. Sharon, guess what? Do okay. you have time? Yeah, you oh, have time. Yeah. She can wait. Yeah. Guess what? We're going to Rocky Point after. <gasps> oh my god. Yes, we're going to oh go hold the fifth, and we're going to come back the eighth. But I need your food. help. What color bathing suit should I have? Hang on, hang on. Um, Something that stands out. You yeah. want to get well, your attention. skin color. You don't want to wear orange. But I am going to get a tan, so you, you have right. to go with that. Red? Do you think red is a good yeah. color? Yeah, yeah, red would be good. Who are you going with? With Lori, Haida, Gabby. Do you want to go? Oh my god. Or that would be all so kind much of fun. What were the problems in this interaction? The tutor was distracted and unprofessional. The tutor ignored the student in order to talk to a friend. Don't make students wait for personal conversations, phone calls, email, etc. The customer comes first. 
Always give students your full attention. Enjoy the experience. Peer tutoring can be rewarding and a great learning experience for you. Be sure to ask the professional tutors or your supervisor if you have additional questions about this important job. We want to help you to be a successful tutor and we want the students to have a positive experience at the Writing Center. Thank you.